women make up only around 22% of the entire transport workforce. Employing more women in transport would not only contribute to a more balanced gender representation, but also to solving labor shortages in this sector, further worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic and the current energy crisis. There are several factors hindering a greater participation of women as workers in the transport sector. Gender stereotyping of work or the generalization about what is considered typically a man or a woman's job. As for instance, truck driving being viewed as a man's work. Working patterns that do not fit women's needs in terms of work-life balance and time flexibility to attend to other responsibilities, such as often being the primary caregivers to their children and other dependents. Inappropriate safety and security facilities, such as lack of clean toilets and showers or unsafe dark and remote parking places, but also lack of adequate tools and procedures to deal with violence and sexual harassment. To improve this, the European Union is working together with Member States to support and complement their actions in the area of employment. In addition, the EU has launched several initiatives to improve women's participation as workers in the transport sector and foster a better integration of women in the labour market. The EU platform for change for more women in transport launched by the European Commission in 2017. It aims to strengthen women's employment in the transport sector by facilitating exchange of relevant measures and best practices. The platform also fosters building stronger connections between European companies and women employees in transport. The European Sustainable and Smart Mobility Strategy, which aims to make transport more attractive for women, for instance, by promoting digitalization, an improved working environment and better quality jobs, as well as applying equality mainstreaming to its future transport-related policy initiatives. The recent directive on equal pay for equal work between men and women, which aim to close the gender pay gap and ensure pay transparency measures. The European Parliament has been very active in making transport more gender equal through various resolutions. For example, it has called for the equal treatment of men and women in the workplace by addressing the issue of gender stereotyping, which is one of the main obstacles for women working or wishing to start a career in transport. Parliament also insisted on the importance of having gender-friendly accommodation and better sanitary facilities at resting places for truck drivers. This year, for the third time in a row now, the European Parliament will hold its Gender Equality Week at the end of October, with contributions, among others, from the Transport and Tourism Committee. <laughs>